Welcome to our lecture online. In this next example, just like the ones to come, we're supposed to solve these equations. Now, what do we mean when we say solve an equation? It means find the correct value for the variable, in this case, variable x, such that the left side equation equals the right side equation. What value do we need for x, such that when we plug it into x, the left side will equal the right side? That's what we mean by solving equations. There's a specific method that we follow. The first thing that we do in case that we have parentheses is we want to remove the parentheses, which means we're going to multiply the minus 2 times what's inside the parentheses and the minus 4 times what's inside the parentheses. When we do that, we get the following. Minus 2 times 5x is a minus 10x, and a minus 2 times a minus 1 is a plus 2. We still have the minus x equals minus 4 times x is a minus 4x, and a minus 4 times a minus 3 is a plus 12. Notice how I write the equal sign in the same place, and that's the preferred method. The next step is to move all the terms that have an x in them to the left side of the equation, and all the terms that do not have an x in, in them to the right side of the equation. So in some cases, these are already on the left side, but we need to move this to the left side. So this becomes minus 10x, minus x. When we bring a minus 4x across the equal sign, that becomes a plus 4x. So we always change the sign of whatever term we move across the equal sign. Right? The equal sign there, we still have the 12, and then the plus 2 goes across the equal sign, becomes a minus 2. Now we can combine like terms. Minus 10, minus 11x, plus 4, that would be a minus 7x, equals 12 minus 2, which is a positive 10. And at this point, we're going to divide both the left side and the right side by the numerical coefficient in front of the variable, the x in this case. So divide the left side by minus 7 and divide the right side by minus 7. Of course, we need to do the same thing to both sides. Notice when we divide this into this, we simply get the variable x equals, on the right side, minus 10 divided by 7. And that's the solution to the original equation. When we plug in a minus 10 sevenths into x here, here, and here, the left side equation will equal the right side equation. And therefore, that is the solution to the original equation. And that's how it's done.